I uh, just wanted to take a second to say a big thank you to the Iguana Fund and Club Passim uh, for the very generous grant that they gave my friend Sarah Green and I earlier this year to make a little duo record this summer, uh, a portion of which I, I used to snap up a lovely old Martin guitar, uh, which I'm going to use to record on the record. But I was I was really wishing that I had you know a smaller bodied guitar to record this record with something that would sound a little bit more uh, balanced and warm when it was close mic'd. And uh, at the shop that I work at, the Music Emporium, one day, a gentleman who comes in quite regularly with tons of vintage guitars I don't know where he gets them, but he just is usually trying to pawn them off. Uh, had a couple of guitars with him, including this old Martin 017, which was really banged up in need of some pretty serious repair uh, but because of the condition it was in he was not asking much for it at all and I had my iguana fund money burning a hole in my pocket uh, so the proprietors of the shop very kindly just put me directly in touch with him and I bought the guitar from him but the only way I could even have that luxury and that flexibility to just grab the guitar right on the spot was because of the iguana fund because uh, musicians don't usually have you know a big surplus of, of cash at their disposal to just grab uh, a really nice vintage guitar if one happens to walk right in front of their face like this one did to me so I got the guitar it needed a lot of work on it uh, it had seen some bad repair work over the years and to get it back into playing condition again I needed to reset the neck which means to take the neck off the guitar and recut the angle so that it sits back a little bit further. That allowed me to make a new bridge. The old bridge had been made poorly. Uh, somebody had put a bad bolt-on bridge in the wrong place on the guitar, which you would never do in a million years, but somebody did it. And, uh, and then we made a new saddle, a new nut, put all new frets in the neck, and set it up. So right after I saw that and I saw how high the strings were off the fretboard, you could barely even play it, I said I need to take it to my friend Yukon and uh, I'm sure it will be beautiful when he's done with it and it'll play and sound terrific, especially uh, on a microphone, which an all mahogany guitar tends to, uh, tends to perform really, really well in a recording context. Um, so I've got the guitar back now. Uh, it's amazing plays great, sounds wonderful, couldn't be happier with the outcome, um, but I just wanted to thank the Iguana Fund again, because uh, all of this is, is due to the flexibility that they provided to me and, and so many other musicians in the Boston area, so big, big thank you to the Iguana Fund.